Breaking news from PIX11. And thanks so much for joining us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Shirley Chan. And we begin with that breaking news tonight. An NYPD officer shot in the leg in Jamaica, Queens, and right now in the heart of the busy Jamaica Center. This is a live look right now at Jamaica Hospital, where Mayor Adams just said a 26-year-old innocent bystander was also shot but is expected to recover. The police commissioner, the interim police commissioner, is now speaking. Let's take a lesson in. With absolutely no regard for human life, decided to open fire on an NYPD officer in the middle of a busy New York City street. This extreme recklessness resulted in injuries to our officers, officer and cost this suspect his life. This is the innocent female bystander who the mayor mentioned is also doing well, thankfully. It's important to note that this is the second time this week the public played a critical role in the wake of violence. Thanks to help from bystanders, we were able to intercede before the suspect could victimize any more New Yorkers. And once again, our officers were being proactive, running towards the danger. Every day, they go above and beyond for the people of this great city. And both the mayor, who is a former NYPD captain, and I can't thank them enough. Right now, we're incredibly grateful that our officer will be okay. At this time, I want to introduce Chief of detectives, Joe Kenny will go through the preliminary timeline of this incident. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Good evening. As the Commissioner stated, this information is preliminary as uh, we just started uh, the investigation. So today at 5.35 p.m., Patrol personnel from the 107 precinct responded to a 911 call of a robbery in progress. This was a gunpoint robbery that was taking place inside of 164-01 Hillside Avenue in the confines of the 107 precinct. This location is the Village Market Grocery. It's a bodega. Victims tell the responding police officers that a male entered the store and announced a robbery. This male demanded money. He threatened the workers with a firearm. He threatened the customers with a firearm. He used a black revolver. During this robbery, one shot was fired. Customers were able to tell officers that this perpetrator fled southbound into the confines of the 103 precinct. Responding officers obtained a description of the perpetrator and broadcast it over the radio. At 6.24 p.m., members of the 103 precinct are canvassing for the suspect from the robbery that had just occurred on Hillside Avenue. While doing so, they are flagged down by a witness who points out a male on the corner of Jamaica Avenue and 160th Street. The witness informs the two officers that the male had just robbed a smoke shop located at 92-18 Guy Brewer Boulevard. He used a firearm, and once again, one shot was fired. The officers realize that this male fits the description of the robbery that had taken place earlier on Hillside Avenue. At 6.30 p.m. at 161 in Jamaica Avenue, Police Officer Wong and his partner, Police Officer Pryor, of the 103 Precinct approach the male. They ask him to stop. He does not comply. They ordered him to, to stay still. He doesn't comply. Instead, he runs eastbound on Jamaica Avenue away from the officers while producing a firearm. These two officers order him to drop the gun. He does not do so. He fires one shot striking police officer Wong in his thigh is it through and through injury. Police officer Wong is forced to return fire. He strikes the suspect one time in his face. He's brought to Jamaica Hospital where he's pronounced DOA at 7.04 p.m. A suspect in this case is identified as Gary Worthy. Gary Worthy is a male black, 57 years old. His date of birth is 1667, and he resided at 168-34 127th Avenue in Queens. He has 17 priors that include murder, robbery, burglary, and narcotics possession. He is on lifetime parole for firearms possession. His last arrest was six days ago for possession of felony narcotics and resisting arrest. He was ROR'd on that charge. As the mayor said, he is on lifetime parole, and since he was on lifetime parole, he's been arrested seven other times since 2021. Worthy was also wanted for three additional gunpoint robberies that occurred on Halloween and November 15th. Shots were also fired at these robberies. Thankfully, police officer Wong was removed to Jamaica Hospital for treatment. He will survive his injuries, as was the 26-year-old female bystander. This investigation will be handled by the Force Investigation Unit with the assistance of the Detective Bureau. 
I'll take any questions if you have them. Oh, excuse me. Patrick Hendry, President of the Police Benevolent Association. Uh, we are truly grateful that our hero brother is on the road to recovery here at Jamaica Hospital. But as police officers, right, when we listen to it to live at uh, Jamaica day. Hospital there, uh, police uh, officials there, you heard the mayor as well, uh, really describing two emotions tonight. Uh, you heard, obviously, they are grateful that Officer Wong is going home tonight. They're grateful that this, uh, this shopper, an innocent, uh, innocent bystander who was hit by a bullet, is going home tonight. But they're also frustrated that here we are another night where we have what they're saying is a career criminal uh, who was, you know, just released uh, days ago, uh, murder charges, all these other charges, lifetime parole, and here you go, committing a crime, shooting an officer, shooting an innocent bystander. Uh, that suspect is dead tonight. But again, it is, they're thankful that, that these two people are going home, but they're also upset that here we are once again saying what's a very similar story to what happened in Manhattan. Yeah, the NYPD identifying the suspect as 57-year-old Gary Worthy, 17 priors, including murder and other burglaries charges and just six days ago he was arrested for drug related charges and once again lifetime parole he was also wanted for three additional recent gunpoint robberies but again the most important thing tonight is that NYPD officer will be okay he was shot in the leg and also that innocent bystander just 26 years old also will be okay we do have team coverage for you tonight starting with our Anthony DiLorenzo who has been live at the scene of the shooting and he's been working the details for us Anthony what can you tell us well, surely you know just how busy and bustling Jamaica Center is on any given night. This was rush hour when gunfire erupted just down the sidewalk from where I'm standing. Workers from the Target store right in front of where this all erupted were just let out of the store after being in there for the past three and a half hours. This whole area was brought to a screeching halt after that shootout between Worthy and Officer Wong happened just here behind me and wounded that woman walking by. Tonight, though, listen here. We've obtained video surveillance that caught the crack of gunfire and the immediate aftermath. The barrage of shots erupted just after 6.30 tonight here on 161st Street and Jamaica Avenue in front of a strip of shops and restaurants. People could be seen running to safety as officers rushed here to the scene. Sources tell us that the robbery suspect was approached by that police officer on the street. The mayor says the suspect committed two robberies tonight, one on Hillside Avenue at a bodega, another here on Jamaica Avenue, and fired his gun during both robberies. When the officers pursued, he apparently refused to surrender. Both officer and suspect drawing their weapons and shooting at one another in the busy crowd. The cop was hit in his thigh. The bullet went in and out. The suspect shot dead here on the scene. In the middle of the chaos, a 26-year-old woman was also hit in her leg. We spoke to a man who says he was 20 feet away from the gunfire. And the officer was telling, telling him, four time uh, uh, like uh, like uh, do not run uh, uh, we need to talk to you and then the officer shot him first time one in in his back he wasn't died he didn't dead but well when he turned around the officer shot him f four more time she just said she heard some gunshot and then she just saw the cops on the, the cop and the guy on the ground that's it and as a mom you must have been worried yeah yeah she's my baby and I'm worried for everybody else in the store, too. Again, the suspect identified tonight as 57-year-old Gary Worthy lived here in Queens, shot dead tonight here on the scene. The officer expected to make a full recovery and go home tonight. Live in Jamaica, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.